A deviated septum is strictly a quality of life condition. If I have to look in the nose and tell a patient you have a deviated septum and they've had it all their life, to me, no surgery is necessary. If they come to me with significant nasal obstruction, they can't breathe through one side of the nose, I look in the nose and you see that there is a deviated septum on that side. The first thing you do is put them on medical therapy because I've seen many patients where they have a significant deviation, but they have no complaints of breathing problems. And a lot of times if you control the congestion over that deviation, they may breathe fine. There's a very rare instance where the deviation is so bad where it may impinge on sinus drainage where then we may consider, you know, addressing it. But deviated septum surgery is traditionally a quality of life condition. The patient tells me, you know what, I can't breathe, it's affecting my function, running, etc., and I want something done.